1200 uh, video and um, this is just uh, an, another video to show you the CD-ROM drive in action. Now last video I couldn't show you the CD-ROM drive in action because of technical difficulties so I've gone for a different approach. Um, so I'm going to show you it working and then I'm going to give you a little tour of Workbench. Might jog, um, bring back a bit of nostalgia for some people. Now this is my first request video and it was requested by Snestastic. so if you haven't checked out his channel, go and check out his channel now, he's a really cool guy, really loves retro gaming just like all of us and he's given me a lot of uh, support and encouragement so check out his channel now. Okay so here we've got Amiga OS 3.5 or Workbench 3.5 and in this video you'll see me trying to open the box. There we go, and in there we've got um, OS 3.9, but we don't need that because uh, I've got OS 3.5 and that's the one that I'm going to stick in the CD-ROM drive. So uh, 1200, so let's, uh, let's go on with that, so let's pop that out. Stick this in the drive. It's really hard to do this one handed. Nearly got it in. There we go. And now it's come back out again. Bloody hell. Don't do this one handed, it's really tricky. Pop that back in. Obviously, we need to lift up the case to. Uh, you can hear that. Okay, so you've heard the uh, CD-ROM drive um, in action there, and you can hear that it's working, and the little symbol has appeared on the workbench. So we're going to go ahead and click on the symbol. And from here you've got several options, you can read the guides, it tells you how to install the software and other bits and pieces. Now you, from here you can install Workbench 3.1 or 3.5. So to be honest I don't know why they included Workbench 3.1 on there, because let's face it, if, you're gonna, if you've just bought the disc for Workbench 3.5 then the chances are you've already got 3.1 installed on your Amiga so it seems pretty pointless really but I guess they wanted to include that um, I've gone and clicked on 3.1 I was working off a really small screen so I couldn't quite see what I was doing so in a minute I'm going to realise that I've clicked on the wrong symbol yes I want to report I don't want to install 3.1 I bought. I bought now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on 3.5 and we should be getting an install screen pop up. And this is what you get when you go to install uh, Workbench 3.5. And as you can see, you can install it and you've got other software that you can install. You can install uh, internet software. Power PC support, CD-ROM drivers, so um, it's quite a lot of stuff on there really. And yes, you can go on the internet on your Amiga, and you can still do it to this day. Uh, don't ask me what that's like. I've never done it. I've never tried, and uh, I don't think I ever will either, to be honest. So that was my CD-ROM drive in action. Okay, well, for this last little bit of the video, I'm going to give you a tour of the Amiga Workbench. Um, as you well know, I've got a Amiga Workbench 3.5 installed. Now, where the uh, mouse is floating about, you'll see that I've got 32 megs of RAM installed, and that's coming off the accelerator card. That's total overkill for the Amiga. Um, I'll never use all that. Uh, RAM. I don't know why it's. I've got so much installed. You only need about four megs really for playing games. Okay. Now in the about screen, it tells you um, which Kickstart and Workbench versions you got installed, 
and it also tells you which ROM you got installed. Um, which is, this is also really handy because it t tells you which uh, updates you got installed, if any. And as you can see in the work um, folder, there's the Boing bag, two Boing bag updates for Workbench 3.9. And they're just system updates. There's two for Amiga OS 3.5 as well. Let's go ahead and see what else I've got installed on here. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got quite a few programs on here. Um, Install the 43 is a really useful program. And I've got no games installed currently. And obviously, there's no point because it's the Amiga's not in a finished state. So if you click on the workbench and go into preferences. Okay, so preferences is a really useful part of the workbench and um, as you can see it's got loads of uh, useful programs in there. So in there you can check that the sound is working, uh, change the screen size, increase the color palette. So I'm going to click out of that now, and I, I noticed this Christmas look just sitting here, and I wondered what the hell it was. So I got this little message uh, coming up, and I decided to click on save. Now that's brought up a Christmas screensaver, and what the hell, it's new Christmas anyway. So I went back into it and tried to click on some more of the symbols within it to see if I could get some other pictures up but then this happens oh dear the system crashes on me well now this is going to bring up um, there you go a guru error code now this is a bit like the Xbox 360 just displaying a little code on the screen to tell you that the uh, Xbox has died on you much like the E74 error basically the same thing and that's the uh, a bigger screen saver so I hope you've enjoyed that video it's only a quick video really and my next video I'm going to be showing you um, one of the games from this package uh, and it's going to be Red Baron so I'll have that video up soon guys